Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this week's video we're going to be having a look at the new JST Toneforge Guilty Pleasure plugin. We're going to listen to what it sounds like on its own, we're going to take a listen to what it sounds like as part of a mix, and we're going to go over briefly all the different controls and functions that are included in this pretty versatile virtual guitar amp simulation. So let's take a listen to that right now and see what this offers us. So to kick things off, let's take a look at the interface to start off with. So if we switch over to the first in the signal chain, you can see we've got this whole signal path available to us. We start off with the pedal, and we go through the amplifier, the speaker cabinets, the effects, the EQ, and then we have a limiter at the end of it. We've also got a tuner, which we can easily invoke by clicking on the tuner icon. We've got a built-in noise gate. We've got an input and output level and show us the input and output signals. We can also click where it says signal path and you can see there's an extra option in there which shows the magic button. Now this is the JST or Joey Sturgis magic button and it basically applies a kind of a bit of EQ to the overall sound and just really takes it from being quite a average sounding um, amp sim to something that sounds pretty polished straight out of the box. So you can dis disable and enable any of these in the entire signal chain. You can see easily switch those on and off. So let's just jump back into this and let's just go through step by step the six different sections we've got in this signal chain that we can control. So to start off with, we've got a typical overdrive pedal. You can see we can deal with the line level in, the tone and the gain. We can switch it on and off simply by clicking the pedal button or we can click the icon. You know, we've got a lot of ways we can work with this. We've then got the amplifier section. So we've got our preamp with a gain, bass, mid, treble, presence and output. We then have our... Um, our impulse response section, so you can see we've got two different types of cabs. We've got an orange cab and we've got a Mesa Boogie cab. We've got four different types of microphones. We've got a condenser, a 421, a 57 and a 57 off axis. So we can get a range of different tones from there. But we're not limited to just working with these two different uh, impulse responses. We can easily come down and we can choose our own impulse responses. So once we do that, that'll disable the built-in cab IRs and we can now go and load in whatever we want by clicking on the L. We can just go through that then just find the impulse impulse response that we want to work with load that in and we can start working with that one so that's a great addition we're not just limited to the ones that ship with the product itself so you just go back to the 412 we then have the effect section you can see we've now got a delay pedal a wah pedal and distortion built into the wah and a reverb section so now we've got a standalone entire sort of signal path that we can work with with the guitar we don't have to load in external effects if we want to apply delay or a reverb or if we want to apply the wah to it next up we've got a five band eq so you can see we've got a low pass you've got the mid we can go through and we can deal with all of that so if we don't want to go out to an external plugin and deal with that via our normal eq we've got that built into this plugin which obviously is going to help keep the resources down so we're going to have everything inside of one plugin as opposed to using multiple different plugins and finally we've got a built-in limiter so again you can see we've got a pretty straightforward controls on there we've got the db threshold and then we can modify the the output signal so we can balance that off we've got a vu meter in the middle and we can deal with the way that the limiter is actually working so that's really what the plugin offers us and it seems pretty straightforward to start off with and quite simple but what it does do and what i found where i've been using it is it's very very difficult to get a poor sounding guitar tone out of it now it's geared towards your typical rock music and metal it's not necessarily going for that sort of extreme kind of metal and hardcore and things that Joey Sturgis is more known for. It kind of has a more of an orange stroke JCM 800 Marshall kind of tone to it, but we can push it and drive it a bit harder and get a bit more gain out of it. But all in all, it really does give a really nice sounding virtual amplifier. So let's take a listen to some tones on their own and then we'll have a little listen to it inside a mix and we'll see how we can change the tones by using the controls on the interface itself, which is as we've seen, pretty simple and straightforward and nothing that any guitarist shouldn't feel comfortable using. So I've got a session open in front of me and I've got a couple of instances of Tone Forge Guilty Pleasure on each of the guitar tracks. So I've got a left and right guitar track and I've got one coming down the middle. Now there's nothing on here, there's no EQ, no um, compressors, nothing. This is just the plain straight signal straight out of Guilty Pleasure. 
and as you can see I've got the overdrive these are all set at pretty much the factory default settings I've tweaked the EQ section a little bit but everything else is pretty much as you'd expect you straight out of the box if we take a look you can see that I'm currently using the Mesa 412 running the condenser microphone and what I'll do is I'm going to just play back the guitar track now all three guitar tracks and then I'm going to go through the different settings so you can see exactly what's going on with each one of these and how they influence the sound So hopefully what you can tell from that is that there's quite a lot of control over exactly the kind of tone that you want to build up using this particular plugin. Now I'm going to put this now into context, I'm going to add the three guitars together so you can have a listen to those and then I'm going to drop in the bass and the drums just so you can get an idea of the full song. Now like I say there's no EQ or anything, this is everything is done inside the Tone Forge plugin. So let's switch all those back on, so let's just solo the guitar tracks out so now you can just listen to just the guitars this is all guitars together now
setup, you can see you can already get a pretty decent sound and tone out of just this plugin. So now I'm going to go in and just put in the bass and the drums in there. Now this is not a fully mixed track, but it's going to give you a good idea of how quickly you can put together a decent sound in demo without going through the entire process of configuring half a dozen plugins per guitar signal chain. Just using this one plugin gets you pretty close to where you want it to be. So let's have a listen to it now where we've got everything back in place so we can see where it sits like together. So there we go, there's the JST Toneforge Guilty Pleasure Virtual Amp Sim. Now for me, I think this is a great plugin. I really have struggled to try and get a bad sound out of it. It's very easy to use. The fact that you've got a little bit of that special Joey magic going on in there that really does help EQ the guitar out and just go from a, a fizzy sounding sort of amateur tone to something that sounds pretty close to you know a final kind of guitar tone just with a click of a button is fantastic so i would say if you're in the market for another virtual amp sim and you're looking for this kind of range of tonality you want the sort of the bluesy kind of sounds right there to the sort of the full-on rock and metal kind of sounds but you're not really that bothered about going over to the edge of hardcore and stuff this is definitely an easy plug-in to work with and get a great tone out of it if you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, don't forget to pop those in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you like the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, happy mixing.